Hey everybody, it's Treece here with the TreeHouseAcademy.com and today I wanted to share with you really quickly one of my favorite children's books um, that I've probably been reading for maybe about three years now. And I know that if you're a parent or an educator, you've probably heard of Pete the Cat and Fancy Nancy, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, books like that, right? But I'm not even sure if people even know about this book because I happened upon it and it ended up being one of my and the children's favorite books to have during story time. I love to read it, they love to hear it, so it's a win-win, right? Well, not only did I wanna share this book with you, I'm going to read a snippet of it so that you can see just how awesome this book is and how suspenseful, preschool suspenseful it is. And then I'm going to share some of the activities that I've actually created to accompany this book, which really gets the kids excited and engaged. All right, so without further ado, the book is Three Little Dinosaurs Egg Rescue. It's by Charles Fuge, or Fugue, I believe it's Fuge. I hope I'm saying it correctly. But this book here, the illustrations are just beautiful, bright. Um, the children just naturally love those bright colors. One of my favorite parts of this book is pretty much during the climax of the book where these three dinosaurs, they're, they're kid dinosaurs, okay? And one of them has a baby sibling on the way and an egg. Well, this egg ends up getting lost-ish. Something happens to this egg. They have to get this egg back and keep it safe because it's the little sibling, right? Great storyline. Well, during the climax, uh, I'll just read it, I'll read it. But the current was getting stronger and they could hear a thunderous roar. Waterfall! Yelped Lofty. Scratch reached out and grabbed the egg. Oh, he held on tight. Then the three little dinosaurs began to fall down and down they fell until i'm gonna stop right there because you have to get this book you have to finish it it's amazing for children i haven't come across a child that doesn't care for it or is not just like sitting on the edge of their seats engaged listening to it and i wanted to show some of the activities that i use to go along with this book i'm gonna link this book down in the comments let's get to the activities so this is a sensory tub that i'm going to put together now typically i use sensory tubs for many if not all of the stories that i read it's just a really great way to get the kids involved in the telling of the story while they're playing so I just put beans in this tub. You can use rice or, or any type of filler that you think would be good for the kids. Sometimes I've seen dried corn. Um, I'm also putting different prehistoric toys in. I've got a tree. I've got a little rocky bridge type thing. And I have one of my large dinosaurs. This will be the mom because the other dinosaurs that I'm going to use, these colorful ones right here, these are going to be the little kids. And if I was going to make this sensory table for more than one or two children, I'd make it a lot bigger. I'd have a lot more dinosaurs and, and different types of filler in there. These eggs, um, I'm actually going to link these down below. These, this was a really great find on Amazon and they are different shapes and they're pretty much like little egg puzzles. I also have those empty little Easter egg, plastic eggs that you find um, during Easter for Easter egg hunts. And I'm going to put some of my little dinosaur math manipulatives inside of these eggs. Wait, that one doesn't fit, hold on. Here we go, here we go. I know some of them do fit. Some are a little bit too tall, that one fits. There we go. Put that in there like that. And so they can play a little bit of hide and seek or I spy and open up the eggs and 
and just have fun exploring the eggs, exploring the dinosaurs. I'm also going to put these little foam glittery eggs in here. I found those um, at a Dollar Tree during Easter. Also going to put some letters in, D for dinosaur, E for egg. And there you have it. You can contact me at thetreehouseacademy.com or on Facebook or on Instagram if you would like some of the activities. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you took something away from this. Uh, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, um, all that good stuff. And I will see you next time. Bye.